you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals to another exciting reaction here to my channel, Sam and Seas. And on today's reaction, we're going to be reacting to X-Men 97, Season 1, Episode 6, Life, Death, Part 2. Now, let's all remember what happened in the last episode. What an emotional roller coaster that was, seeing not only Magneto bite the dust and some of the warlocks, but we saw Gambit take the ultimate sacrifice in that and making sure that that Master Mode like Sentinel remembers his name, remember it. And ah man, that was probably one of the most, that's, I heard a lot of people say that, probably the best Marvel episode they have done since, since Marvel has done television. So that was amazing to see. It, again, that was probably a very fantastic episode. We got only four episodes left before the season's done after episode six right here. So I'm excited to see what happens here. This is live death part two. We're piggybacking off what happened with Storm and Forge because we're still, Storm is still on the hunt to get her powers back. Storm is still looking to find her way back to getting her powers to be the goddess that she is because she's still one of the most powerful mutants in the X-Men universe. So let's get into this. Maybe if we see some, uh, Maybe do we see her and Forge reconcile over what happened, Forge kind of lying to her, and then kind of professing his love in probably the weirdest way, awkward way possible. But we're gonna find that all, all that and more right here. Let me know in the comments down below, what's been your favorite episode so far in X-Men 97? And what's your favorite moment? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys wanna follow me on all my social medias, please do so, all my handles are in the description for you as well. And as always, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, Sammy Says, for more fun videos like this one here. And with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, let, whoa, we're in space. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, this is the sh are we seeing the Shirod Empire back? Oh, we're going straight on space battle. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, yep, the Shirod. Shirod Empire. Wait, are we gonna see Charles? Are we gonna see Charles alive in this? Oh, it's a Ooh, we got the Kree! We got the Kree in this! Oh, we're expanding the universe. We're expanding. Oh, boy. Now who are you? Okay, we're we're really expanding the universe. Ooh, okay. The honor to fall at my feet, Ronan, for you shall be memorialized as the corpse upon which I pose. It's interesting to see Ronan probably getting his ass kicked right here. Oh yeah! Oh wow! Ronan's getting his ass kicked. Okay. He's usually a heavy hitter. Look at that. Always Look at that. Priority. Oh, you're the, you're her sister. Oh. This is interesting. Oh, it's Charles. Yep. They're gonna save Charles. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Walking? No way. That, that's not. No way. That's Charles. Okay, now I have my doubts. That can't be. Oh, it is. Oh. Oh, okay. you're an emperor now. Yeah, I'm. I'm like all of his people here. What's going on? To the might and glory of the Imperium. Okay, this is this is a game changer. Look how happy he is. Oh my god, he has no idea what's been going on. Oh no. This is gonna be terrible for him. This is this is gonna be bad for Charles when he finds out everything that's been happening. Oh, look, he's using a cane. Do as you did on earth. Play the role of the peacemaker. Much like my legs in this armor's exoskeleton. Oh, okay, so it's the exosuit. I pretend to be perfect. That my subjects would never love the woman beneath the armor. Not like you do. Mm, never they, they put up a lot of fronts just for the people they know and love. But I remind you. And all this is in Storm's head. That's some of the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, see, that would have break that would have break easily. But there is no pill for my poison. Let him die. 
Okay, this is getting dark. The show has been getting dark the last couple episodes. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, talk about visual imagery. Oh, that's right. Her, her fear, claustrophobia. Oh yeah, mm hmm She she asked that question earlier. She asked that question. Oh man, she doesn't even know what oh wait no she does, she does, yeah. Turned your back on these paths long ago. Lord of chaos. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Who? Oh. Braver of lies. Hold on, he's a sorcerer? He's a sorcerer this whole time? Depart and be gone. Oh, we're getting some Doctor Strange level magic here. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. They've accepted it. They're both accepting the love. Okay, there's a lot of love going on in this episode. I, I, I got a bad feeling about that. There's so much love going around, let me just say. After the last episode we had. Charles, Charles, come on now. Come on now. You Casanova, you. Oh, uh, that sounds important. The right requires a non Shia pass a test of loyalty in order to wed a royal. I Ooh. Shall call you my second day here, Deathbird. Oh, second day, second day. Come on now. The challenge of my own choosing. Then choose. To ensure we are protected from your Terran ties, you must renounce Earth and erase all memory of your life there. Oh, oh. Charles is a formidable psychic. His mind will not be easily scrubbed. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that you can't use that against Charles. Psychic power. Charles Xavier must purge all memories of Earth, and you, dear sister, must be the one to do it. Oh, okay. That that's gonna complicate things. I don't. I don't think Charles can do it. I don't think he'll do it. There's no way he's gonna. I don't think that's why Charles won't do it. I don't. That's why he's not gonna erase his mind. He there's he has too much love for the X Men. Mm-hmm. Wise for a terror. Yes. His name is Magnus. Yep. Good old... Oh, he doesn't know about Magneto, too. Jesus, man. Come on. Oh, this is going to break his heart when he finds out. Um, if he finds out. I do so love to think. Do you love me, Charles? Ooh. Question. Ooh. Even you know Deathbird's challenge goes too far. On Earth, you fought time. Are you serious? Okay. Oh man, that's. Uh, is this is this a way for us to have Charles exit completely? I don't. I don't like it. I was Madeline Pryor. We don't, we don't even know if he's still alive. Gifts inspire twice as much hate in humanity. In a way, your machine failing is a blessing. Mm. This way. Oh, is she accepting it? Is she accepting her humanity? I always heard how the worst weapon used by the Europeans was not bullets or blankets, but a white lie. Oh. Oh, oh, this is forge going? Uh closing darkness. Where? That's why I came. I know how you feel about tight spaces. Oh. Ooh, yeah, no, she ain't gonna do that. She can't do it. No, Forge is dead. Forge is dead. Do you stand in our circle to complete the rites of M Dasha? I do. That is such a big ass helmet. That is a big and ass you helmet. All memories of Earth, of your life there. Do. Oh man, he's going through with it. Oh, is he gonna forget the X Men? Oh, he's not saying anything. Oh, he's not. He's not gonna do it. See, he can't do it. He can't do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, oh, uh, there's. Arrest this treacherous vulture and any who dare 
Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Dang. Oh, glad you're putting her in her place. Oh, damn. We're having a full on civil war with the Shirards? Oh, damn. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, Landra's gonna get her ass kicked. I, I don't know how she's gonna hold up. And I'll... Charles' suit is f all fucked up. Oh. That's right. That's right. Class is now in session. Here we go, Professor X. That's, hey, still a professor. Come on now. <laughs> They're making them all sit in seats. I love it. I oh, oh, oh no. Oh, there goes her only light. Oh. Oh, the adversary's back. Oh, it's back. Is it back or is it just... As I say, is it all in her, in her head? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. This ain't good. This ain't good. What are we gonna do, Storm? What are we gonna do? Oh, man. This adversary is a mean, nasty one. No, you demon. Mm. Oh, oh, is she getting is she getting her powers back? Oh, she getting her powers back. Oh, it was so it was all in her head? Oh, we know who you are, Storm. We all know who you are. You're Omega level. You are the Omega. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Call the thunder. Bam! Here we go. Look at Storm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Now that, now that's, that's how you make a comeback. That's how you make a comeback. Damn, look at that. Look at Storm soaring in the sky. Oh, oh, she got a new suit. Oh, she got a new suit on. Okay, new drip Storm. I mean, hey, I love Mohawk Storm, but this one, hey, this is, I dig it. I dig it. Mm-hmm. I dig it. Look at her. Look at her soaring in the sky. She's back, baby. She's back. It was all It was all in her head, though. So it was all in her head. She didn't need a cure or anything. She's going to find out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. See, you you miss some you miss some things, Storm. Yeah, you miss a lot. Let's talk about power. Real Ooh. power. Real power. Oh, okay. She didn't raise her hand. I just want to say she didn't raise her hand. Yep. See, she didn't raise her hand. <laughs> she put the apple in her mouth. <laughs> Mmm. She ate it. She ate it. I just noticed that. Now the empires rivaling your own. Mmm. You strike at the knees and claim you could help them walk again. Ooh, is Charles putting them in their place? Submit, which brings us to this conclusion. Ooh. The Empire is a snake oil racket. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. As I was saying, that the people who say that aren't really the good people. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Oh. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Uh-oh. That's Gambit. Okay, what's going on here? What's going on? He was making a great speech. Oh. Oh my god. What? What the what the hell's going on here? Beloved, what in the stars? Oh, he knew. He's finding out. He just found out about Gambit. Mm -hmm. Oh. If that should end our star-crossed affair, so be it. Ooh. I will not abandon my kind. Oh, Charles. This time, Ch I return to my... Charles family. making a comeback. Oh, man. Is this, is this how the episode ends? No. Okay, we got more. Oh, there's Trask. Oh, there's that... Oh, you piece of crap. Who do you, oh, who do you give? Oh, is it sinister? Oh, that has to be. It has to be sinister. Yep, sinister. Mm-hmm. Oh, you bastard! You evil bastard! Of course, it's sinister. Of course, Mr. Sinister. Man, I, hey, another another really good episode. I, so good. Well, that was Life Death Part Two. Man, okay, they really they really hit home on these episodes so far. Last episode we got probably the, the most emotional so far, where we saw the death of Magneto and Gambit. This one we kind of see the love of Ford Storm, Charles and, and his Empress in the Shirad Empire. I, I, I keep forgetting her name, I apologize, but Naranja, Naranja, prop, that, that sounds right, that sounds close, yeah, right, but you really see how this, uh, how this episode piggyback off him, kind of like getting me everyone a breather after going through such emotional pain and trauma in the last one, and just picking them back up with the love and everything, and we, just, we see, we see Storm, but let's stay on the Storm part right here real quick, we see Storm getting her powers back, and pretty much being, it was all in her head, it wasn't, it wasn't the Executioner's weapon, it was all in her head that was blocking it from using her powers again. And Forge, by the way, using some Doctor Strange level magic in that fight in the adversary, that was some, that was pretty cool to see. That was awesome. I'm pretty sure that's gonna come back around later on down the road. Now back into the She-Rod and the Galaxy part with Charles, I guess I see Ronin and the Kree, that's interesting. I think we're gonna, we're gonna get some more I don't know, Kree, maybe some scrolls might be showing up. I don't know. I don't know. This really expands the universe of Marvel inside the X-Men universe right here. And but seeing him just being so in love with his Empress and just accepting that he might not have been able to go back. And that was the thing. I knew Charles wasn't going to accept erasing his mind completely because his love for his X-Men, because they're basically his children. They are his children. Asking someone to completely forget about that Nah, that now it doesn't flow well with Charles. So that makes sense that he said no, and now he finally found out that Gambit died. Oh man, when he finds out Magneto died, oh jeez, forget him. He's gonna lose it. He is gonna lose it. But now at the end of the episode, we find out that Sinister used Trash to create mass not create, but use Master Mode to blow up Genosha and kill and try to kill everyone on there. I think Sinister has got some evil plans coming up. We're we've got four episodes left after this. He's got some deep, devilish ideas coming coming our way. And oh man, it's gonna be hard to see. He's been behind everything so far. He took away Scott's son, sent Cable to the future, he killed Magneto, killed Gambit, trying to blow up Genosha in a sense. And oh man, if you if you ever need a bad guy for a future X-Men movie to start off your universe in the Marvel Studios, Sinister's your guy. 
Sinister is the guy. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this episode. What, did you enjoy it? Was this your favorite episode so far? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to follow me on my social medias, please do so. All my handles in the description for you as well. And as always, you beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, Sammy Sears, for more fun reactions like this one here. We're so close. We're this close to getting 1,000 subscribers. Make sure you hit that button. Join the club. Join the gang. Get on the hype train. Let's go. We've got some fun coming our way. Hit that subscribe button, all right? And until next time, bye!